Greetings and welcome to Icons, a great cloud of witnesses. I'm your host, Mark Mellis, Director of Music and Liturgy at St. Bridget Parish in Mesa, Arizona. If you've ever visited the parish, you've certainly noticed the icon of St. Bridget predominantly displayed in the gathering space near the baptismal font. In this episode, we'll be discussing that icon, its creator, and a little bit about the life of St. Bridget of Kildare. But first, please subscribe to this parish YouTube channel. Hit the like button if you enjoy these episodes and ring the notification bell to stay up to date on all our latest content. It was around the time of the parish's 25th anniversary that a few icons were added to the art and environment as part of a renovation project to convert the church from a multi-purpose building into a more permanent space suitable for worship. Father Scott Brubaker, our pastor, had an idea to commission an original icon of our patroness, and so contacted one of his friends, William Hart McNichols, or Father Bill, as he is known to his friends. McNichols is a world-renowned artist and iconographer. He was heralded by Time magazine as among the most famous creators of Christian iconic images in the world. He moved to Albuquerque, New Mexico in 1990 to study technique, history, and spirituality of icon painting, or technically icon writing, with Russian-American master Robert Lentz. Within a year, Father Bill started receiving commissions. In 1993, while Pope John Paul II was in Denver for World Youth Day, Father McNichols presented the Pope with an icon of Our Lady of the New Advent. The icon, titled The Burning Bush, now resides in one of the Vatican museums. It goes without saying that Father Bill accepted the commission, and several months later, the icon, St. Bridget of Ireland, was completed and arrived at our parish. A documentary film about Father Bill's life titled The Boy Who Found Gold was released in 2016. The icon of St. Bridget and our parish made a brief appearance in that documentary film. The feast day of St. Bridget of Kildare, also known as St. Bridget of Ireland, is celebrated February 1st. She, along with Saints Patrick and Columba, are the three patron saints of Ireland. Bridget was born in the 5th century to Druid parents. She was named by her mother after a pagan Celtic goddess. Her mother later converted to Christianity and was baptized by St. Patrick. St. Bridget is credited with bringing communal, consecrated religious life for women to Ireland. On the site of a pagan shrine, she founded a monastery for both monks and nuns in Kildare, just west of Dublin. Because there was a large oak tree there, the site came to be known as the Church of the Oak. The church and monastery contributed significantly to the spread of Christianity throughout Ireland at a time when traditional Irish religion was disappearing. Later, St. Bridget also founded a school of art that included metalwork and illumination. A sacred fire, which was tended to by a group of pagan women, burned in Kildare, reaching back into pre-Christian times. Many of the newly converted Christians wanted to extinguish the pagan flame. However, Bridget kept the flame burning, which for her represented the new light of Christianity. St. Bridget is almost always depicted holding a crozier, or a staff. A crozier is a symbol of the governing office of a bishop, or apostle. It denotes Bridget's dignity as abbess, giving her leadership over the church in Kildare and over the dual monastery of men and women. As the shamrock is associated with St. Patrick, St. Bridget is associated with a simple reed cross bearing her name. As the legend goes, it was first woven by her from the green rushes or the reeds that formed the carpet on the floor 
of a druid chieftain's house. As the chieftain lay dying, Bridget explained the life and death of Jesus, and when she finished, she gave him the woven cross. After listening to Bridget's story and accepting the gift of the cross, he asked to be baptized before he died. The tradition of weaving Bridget's cross is still carried on in Ireland as well as other parts of the world. A new cross is woven every February 1st, St. Bridget's Feast Day, and it's hung in the house as a symbol of protection. The legend and tales of Bridget's kindness and generosity, especially to the poor, are numerous. She is a patroness of those who have a care for the earth, for justice and equality, for peace and reconciliation. She is a model for a contemplative life. Well, this ends this episode of Icons, A Great Cloud of Witnesses. Until next time, may God bless us and let us follow the example of St. Bridget and keep the flame burning.